Hi guys, uh, MJ Hobby Corner here. I'm just doing this short update. I'm finishing up the new, this new German uh, walker that I made over the weekend. And uh, basically, these projects, I, I use a lot of uh, clothespins in this uh, kind of build. Uh, this is a very experimental project that I started uh, out of the blue about a month ago and I really like it I love the way you can modify clothespins and get some really interesting shapes so what I'm doing now is just adding some procreate clay which helps with the shaping of the figure so um, this is what I have so far okay and I've been working with tweezers and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But you can see, like, the legs there. It's a very strange uh, figure. Okay. And you can see how I use cable ties, which is another um, thing about this kind of build. I use uh, cable ties in order to do, like, vents and that kind of stuff. And then... I use a little bit of clay to do a strange little like cockpit kind of thing. Okay. And I'm still working on some of the details. But with the clothespins, this clothespin technique, the, the main thing is um, to cover up the clothespins a little bit, um, you know, with tin. And so this, this kind of building <clears throat> requires some tin. In areas like you can see it all all around here you can see it in these little uh, in that in the bow right here the little front area there um, it really does help the tin to cover up some of the clothespin uh, areas and give you like a more solid look and uh, there's the little air vents and so it's, it's a pretty neat project uh, I'm gonna be painting it and I think I'm going to do like a camouflage scheme. So I have to wait for things to dry though because uh, I don't want to like mess things up. And it has some some movement there on the torso. Okay, and the guns also move. So it's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm working with really tiny, tiny um, pieces of tin. And generally, I, uh, I use a combination of... Uh, white glue and this like crazy glue um, and just kind of attach the tin bits to the uh, wood there okay and it, it just covers up the wood a little bit okay um, it prolongs the build but it really gives nice detail okay once once i'm done so and then everything has to get painted now this one has some strange like arms or something i might turn these into little uh like ho like not hooks but little pincers so we'll see we'll see but i have to let most of this dry and i just wanted to show it to you guys um this is a neat little project and pretty soon i'm going to start working with foam again and we'll see what the differences are between these two because it's it's a, they're both very interesting building materials clothespins and craft wood and then tin and all these little bits wires i'm gonna have to add some cabling down there okay you can see the sphere some kind of hydraulic me mechanism there so i'm gonna add some cabling attached to that so and i gotta add the little mufflers I'm gonna, I added a little bit of crazy glue uh, here to the procreate clay. There's like a little bit of clay uh, that makes up the body of the muffler. And I'm just going to try and attach it to the rear here. Okay, so there it goes, and it's attached, and 
we have to let this dry I might put another muffler over there um, and then I just need to fix the canopy a little bit just a little bit so using this combination of clay and uh, wire bits and all that stuff you can come up with some interesting things I'm going to be making some uh, German tanks of World War II to kind of fit with this uh, collection because I want to mix like walkers and tanks and other World War II vehicles uh, mix them together in some kind of you know fictitious setting now I was gonna uh, conflict 47 are the rules that I'm aiming for um, but I'm gonna use other rules too I think I'm gonna use Ivan Sorensen's Sorensen's uh, skirmish rules it ha he has like a he has several World War II um, rules and I may just like modify it a little bit and add walkers he does have um, some rules for vehicles there so that's what I might do. This is just a wire bit that's going to go for some detail. It's going to go back here. All right. Uh, but they do require a lot of patience because, again, I'm working with really small bits. Right. And uh, things don't always glue the way you want them to. They don't always, you know, so you do you do have to have a lot of patience, I think, for this kind of stuff. Otherwise, not really that complicated. Um, I don't like draw my mechs or anything beforehand. I'm kind of working straight from my head, uh, looking at the shapes and seeing, modifying the clothespins to see, uh, you know, what I can come up with. It doesn't always work. So I cut this uh, little bits of tin. I'm going to add it to the um, front claws. Kind of give it a more crab-like look and this is the shape that i'm using and i cut them both so that they're relatively the same size and i'm just going to attach them to the claw there um this was just a little little video to show you know how some of the things that i do in order to get these little models accomplished um the designs are a matter of taste um but everything else has a little bit of a technique that I use. Uh, so I'm just going to glue these on and see how they look. All right, so uh, the tin has been attached, and I'm going to shape it a little better and add a few more wires and things there uh, for the pincer, right? Uh, so, but right now I just need it to dry. Once it dries, it becomes nice and, and hard and strong, and i got to redo some of these little uh bolts and things um and i use this tool here which uh, came uh, with a, a tuba glue and this is perfect for making these little um knobby things right they look like little bolts i just press it into the clay see and you get that nice thing um it's really cool. It came in a tube of uh, like glue that I didn't really like the glue, so I started using this as a tool. I used this this part here to make an imprint in the clay for like the uh, hatches and stuff. And I got to finish that hatch. This is almost done. I'm not gonna add any more stuff. Um, just finish up the claws finish up the claws and then uh, add some wires and this is pretty much done and i can paint and you guys can see the painted results are so much better when you see it all painted up really i'm probably going to do a camouflage scheme for these mechs i'm going to start experimenting with uh, world war ii uh camouflage schemes <clears throat> i'm going to raise that claw a little bit Okay, so uh, let me just get this done and uh, we'll see it on the little carousel. You'll get a better view of it. All right, and here's the walker with some of the German troops. Um, you can see how it's changed from the previous day. Okay, and these are 15 millimeter uh, German troops. 
And there is the heavy walker. I'm going to add a couple more details and then it is done. It is ready for painting. And look at those claws in front. Probably going to fix those a little bit too once it dries. Okay. So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, another crazy, crazy build. Nothing big. Just me playing around with clothespins. Nothing major. All right, folks, we will talk very soon. And again, thank you for your support. And uh, you will hopefully will see these things in action soon. New German Walker.